Greetings Warrior fans, welcome to another edition of the Gridiron Show. Today we're joined by running backs coach Wayne Parisher, who has been leading the, well, the number one ground game in the conference for the last couple years. Uh, coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's talk a little bit uh, about last week's game. Uh, you guys go out to Mayville State uh, a day late. You get to play in the snow, make soil men. I don't know what, what all you guys got to do on the off time, but uh, on the field, you guys were absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we credit a lot of that, honestly, to our guys, just the way they were able to uh, compose themselves. You know, we did leave a day late, um, you know, which wasn't ideal for us, but the guys were able to get in their routine, be able to stay locked in mentally, which that, that's the big thing. When you got a long road trip like that, you play on a Sunday, um, you know, there's snow on the ground, they have to clear the field, everything like that. So being able to have the guys engaged and stay locked in, um, obviously it proved pretty well for us come game time. So It had to be fun for the guys. Now they can say, yeah, I got to play on Sundays. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that, that was kind of the running joke uh, going on Sunday. But uh, it, it was definitely a, a good day. Um, wasn't as cold as what we had thought. And once the guys got warmed up and kind of, you know, it was just another football game. Talk about uh, being the running backs coach, uh, and you guys throw for 400. Well, Hilton threw for 450 yards. You guys threw for over 500, I think, in the game. Uh, was the game plan to take advantage of the pass, or did um, that just open up for you? Just take what we can get. Um, we we like to think we're pretty balanced. Uh, I think we ran for close to 200. Um, you know, I told the guys for the game we want to shoot for three. Obviously, we didn't get that, but. Um, every week, you know, we, uh, we game plan and, and kind of see what we can get. Um, obviously, we like to run the football. Um, we've shown that throughout the season and the previous years, you know, having won the rushing title. But, you know, Bo had the hot hand and we had receivers making plays. And, you know, as long as they keep making them, we're just going to keep throwing it to them until someone stops it. So, you know, no, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. And then, and then Bo back there, he's like a running back who just, oh, by the way, can throw for 450 yeah. yards. So yeah. that's got to be nice, too. Oh, very nice. And Bo's super intelligent and makes the right decisions, so it just it makes our offense flow. Defensively, uh, 48 yards loud, first shutout that this coaching staff has uh, seen, and first one since uh, early 2016. What was it that uh, was going right uh, defensively? Because usually the defense sets the tone, but I mean the offense seemed to kind of set the tone and the defense um, followed this week. You know, Coach Finley has those guys, I mean, dialed in. They're, they're playing at a high level. Um, the, there were times when, you know, the quarterback had nowhere to go and he, he, he liked to scramble. We knew that going into the week. There were times he'd catch a snap, take one read, and he'd be gone. Um, Coach Tapa had those DBs locked in, man. I mean, they were covering sometimes for four or five seconds down the field and still quarterback had nowhere to throw. So, you know, hats off to Coach Finley and those guys because, you know, I don't sit in on the meetings and know what they do, but whatever they're doing is working. So, I mean, they, they're dialed in every week. It's, it's really, really nice to see, and it, it makes practice more competitive and real fun. And obviously, we enjoy it on Saturdays, 48 yards. I mean, that's impressive. What's a, a game like the one you had at Mayville State due to the team? It, do you guys worry about a letdown? I mean, you dominated so convincingly. Is there any worry that this team is going to sit back on that and not play as well this coming week? I don't think so because we, we attack each week. We are we, we have a thing. We, we try to go 1-0 and each week. So, uh, you know, we, we enjoyed the win. Um, we did what we were supposed to do. We handled our business. Um, and, you know, come Monday, you know, after that bus ride back, you know, that's over and done with. So we don't even think about it. Um, we, we try not to talk about it. Um, we'll, we'll do a little recap during our scouting report and stuff like that. But, you know, come Monday at, you know, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, it's Dakota State all the way. Um, so and it, it's not about what, what you did, it's what can you do for me today. 
So having that mindset and that mentality moving forward, you know, it, it keeps you from getting complacent and uh, keeps the guys from thinking they're better than who they are. And Coach Littrell said it all week, um, you know, respect everyone but fear no one. And that's kind of been our thing. Uh, we're going to push on the spot for defense for the coming week. Uh, I know you said you don't sit in on those meetings, but obviously you know a little bit about Dakota State. Uh, they're kind of balanced. Uh, mm -hmm. They got a, a good quarterback. They got a strong running back. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do defensively to set up against Dakota State? Uh, you, you got you got to stop the running back, uh, Brody Fredrickson. He he's a really good back. Um, he catches the ball well. He did, they put him at receiver. Uh, he's their I believe they're leading all-purpose guy. Um, he kind of does everything for him, um, and he, he's a tough kid. You know, we went down there and played him at their place last year, and he had a cast on. He's still taking handoffs. So I mean, the the dude is a, a really good football player. Um, so it's going to be, and and usually when guys are that good, they they find a way to get theirs. But you know, it's containing him and not letting him have a have a breakout game, which he's had quite a few this year, but. Um, I, I think Coach Finley and those guys are going to do, you know, they, obviously they change their stuff each week. They're going to do a really good job of shutting him down. And, um, you know, they're, they're big up front. They, their quarterback is good. Um, so it's just playing, having the defensive guys play within our scheme. And uh, I think they'll do a good job of that. I know that uh, against Valley City State, uh, they had the number one all-purpose yard guy in the nation. And you guys handled him pretty well. So that has to be a, a good thing, but uh, obviously it, it very important to handle a guy who's multifaceted like that. Right, and like I said, it just goes back to guys doing their job. Um, you know, they, they have one guy, we have 11. Um, so we, when we look at it that way, if everyone does their part, um, no matter how big, how small, we really don't have anything to worry about in the end, so. Obviously coming off the week that you guys had, passing wise, uh, do you have a game plan to throw the ball a lot, or will it be back to we're going to establish the run, we're going to be a running team, and we're going to take the pass when it opens up? Whatever we can get, <laughs> honestly. So, I mean, if we if we got to run for 500, we will. If we got to throw for 500, we will. Ultimately, the on offense, our biggest thing is we want to put more points up than the other team. However we got to do it, it's how we got to do it. So, I mean, it, it could change um, throughout the flow of the game. You know, you, you might see something that works really well, and you're able to stick with it. And, Sometimes some things we might think are good aren't. And, I mean, it's just one of those deals where you don't know until you're in the game, and and you know you just got to ride the wave, uh, whatever it is. So I mean, I, I can't predetermine anything. I mean, obviously I know as a running back coach what I'd like to do, <laughs> um, but you know sometimes um, and part of what we talk about when we recruit those guys is you know you got to be selfless teammates and you got to be great blockers because there are times when you're called upon to. That's what your job is. Um, you know if you can't block, can't get the rock, so that's kind of our thing. How nice is it, I mean, being the running back coach, you talk about uh, a team like Dakota State, they've got Brody, he's gobbling up yards, almost a thousand yards on the ground. You look at our team, there's not that thousand yard rusher. Mm -hmm. you, you got uh, Harrell, you've got Jones, you've got Whitfield, you got Bo, even at times you're throwing in Zach the punter, he's mm -hmm. running the ball. How nice is it that you can put a variety of guys in there who can do a variety of things for you? It's it's nice because it's a it's a trust thing. All those guys I'm comfortable with carrying the football. Um, I trust all those guys to get the job done. And uh, it's it, as a play caller, you know, I'm sure it helps Coach Lynchell as well because it, there's not a lapse in, in anything that we do. If a guy needs a couple plays, needs a breather or something like that, we're able to still do what we do and have full confidence in the next guy. So the guys have really uh, understood from day one that you know we're we're kind of a, a running back by committee type of group this year, and um, you know a lot of guys have stepped up and answered, and you know um, Larry week one had, had a hundred yard game and had a big week, and uh, you know uh, JJ Harrell, you know he caught two touchdowns out of the backfield last week, and um, and even you know the the freshman, you know AB Ray, um, he hopped in there last week and. He, he toted the ball really well, and that was good to see, you know, because that's the future of the program growing up right there. So it's always nice, you know, we're, we're confident in anybody we stick back there that they can get the job done is as good as the, the starter, so to speak. I know uh, you don't coach the offensive line, but how they go determines a lot of how you go. Mm -hmm. And it seems like about from the second half of the Wisconsin River Falls game, they've kind of meshed, mm -hmm. and this team is starting to grind out yards. 
and, and power football when they need to. Mm -hmm. How nice is that to see that offensive line in front of your backs get into that flow and really start to gel oh, as a I, unit? I love it. You know, I, I get I get more excited seeing those big guys, you know, do what they do than, you know, breaking a 90-yard run. Because obviously we, we can't do what we do without those guys. Uh, they're, they're, they're selfless. They, they get after it. They've been grinding all week. Coach Roy, Coach Putney, they've been doing a good job with them. Um, and, you know, I, I tell my backs all the time, you know, after you have a good run or anything like that, you know, go love those guys up because without them we're nothing. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's been, you, you see it more in practice, it's been the biggest difference. You know, the mentality, the I'm, I'm going to get after it. And those guys have been, I mean, even the holes in practice now, but not that they weren't there before, but now, I mean, I, I could run through them half the time. So it's, it's a good deal that we got going. Obviously, you want to win every game, but, mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like, more this year than we've seen in the last few years. This team is steadily improving, mm -hmm. and that's what coaches always talk about. We want to be playing our best at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. How nice is it to see the team is making that growth, and this team is actually getting better week in and week out? It's it's awesome to see because we're, we're nowhere near our peak, and that's, as, as coaches, you love that. Um, there, there's still things, even times when we do well, um, even in a, a Mayville State game where you put up, you know, 700 yards off at 63 points and stuff, we, we still had busts defensively. We still had busts, you know, route running, blocking, running the football, reads with the quarterback. I mean, and, and it just makes, you know, you get all that fixed, then where will you be? So it's nice to see that, that, I mean, there's always, always room for improvement. And I think the biggest thing, and you know, it kind of shows the maturity of some of our older guys, and even some of our younger guys who are getting thrown into those roles early, that they understand that, you know, even even if I do something good, you know, I can always be better. And having that mentality and having that mindset and the willingness to be coached allows us to get better each week. And I think that's huge and will be critical moving forward, especially, you know, if we want to do the things that we hope to do. A lot of extra activities going on this week. Mm -hmm. uh, Big uh, festivities uh, Friday, Saturday. Halftime is going to be filled with coronation and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. How do you keep the guys focused on the task on the field when there's so much other events going on and hoopla surrounding homecoming? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we we have the guys enjoy it. You know, small small college football, and I mean, you you got to you know don't don't let the moment be too big or anything. But you got to enjoy the things going on, and we're aware of what's going on. But I think the, the guys, you know, we, we do some things um, a, as a team and stuff like that to make sure their minds are right and stuff. And I, I think when when kickoff sounds that, you know, they'll be dialed in mentally and we shouldn't have any, any issues there. So they, they understand the, the stakes and the task at hand and what needs to be done and how important it is to, you know, next play mentality, next game mentality. So Dakota State, you know, come two o'clock be the only thing on their minds actually probably before that when they wake up so I want to remind you fans Saturday homecoming a lot going on this weekend but one of the highlights the biggest highlight for these guys two o'clock kickoff against Dakota State they host them at Bullstore Field come on out enjoy the festivities a lot going on before the game a lot going on at halftime and these guys want a huge crowd out there cheering them on when the whistle starts the, the game, when the kickoff goes. So 2 o'clock, Bull Store Field this Saturday. Be there and cheer these guys on. I want to thank you for joining us, Coach. Good luck this week and uh, the rest of the season. It's been a fun season so far, and hopefully it just keeps getting better. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Blaine.